It's time now for Better Money with Joel Johnson. Today we're talking about the important documents that you should have in retirement. Joel is a certified financial planner and managing partner at Johnson Brunetti. Thank you so much for being with us. It's good to be back here. So they're probably, even if you're not in retirement, these are all some documents we all need to think about. But we're going to talk about um, some common mistakes that you see people make regarding their retirement planning. Yeah, I remember what we had to do regarding estate planning. It's actually estate planning that we're focusing on, which is part of retirement yeah. planning. But even a young person, so when you start having children or you buy your first house or you start borrowing money, they need to have their estate plan in order. And this is what so many people miss here in the U.S. And I don't know why that is. It's actually other countries actually do a little bit better of a job of this. Uh, you know, I've gone through this myself, and I think at some point it also it, it makes people nervous because they have to talk about end of life and things like that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of have to get over that because we all have to do the adulting thing. But um, right. So we have four important documents, and the first one is a will. More than 50% of Americans adults do not have a will which is amazing and the important thing here is they actually have a will it's written by the state they live in so if you die in Connecticut without a will there's a protocol that the legislature has already arranged that says where your money will go who has the power to decide that so we need to have our own will so that we get to be in control of what happens to our assets what happens to our money what happens to the custody of our children if we have minor children yes and if you don't have a will is it possible that a lot of your money may not go where you want it to go no question about it. Okay. So number two, a power of attorney. You need to have that on file too. Yeah, power of attorney. So I have a power of attorney with for my wife and my wife has a power of attorney for me. That means if I have a stroke or I get in a car accident, she can actually sign documents and execute transactions on my behalf. Without a power of attorney, she's got to run to the court and have a judge appoint her as a conservator. So we need to have a basic power of attorney and it can be limited in scope, but we need to have a power of attorney. Okay, and number three, a health care directive. Yeah, this is what some people call a living will. It's a little bit different, but it basically says, again, if I can't make my own health care decisions, I can appoint somebody to make those decisions. And this doesn't just have to mean do not resuscitate me. It could also mean, you know, deciding on what type of surgery or something like that if I can't decide. Okay, you want to make this easy for, you know, your family, really. So the number four point is an information document. And we want to show down, let's break down some of what needs to be on that information document. And, you know, you think, God forbid something happens to you. How's anyone going to know your password, your stuff? So you want really want just some information for whoever's going to have to handle it um, with things like your final wishes, your bank account information, your passwords, all that stuff you've been guarding your whole life. Right. A lot of things like if you have collectibles, you know, my mother-in-law has this wonderful Hummel collection. Who does she want to have that? Okay. So a lot of little things like that, just write it down on a note. It's not a legal document. It can be real simple. You just take a journal and write it down. Okay. And if you want a little bit more information, we have an estate planning checklist offer. Everything is in there. It's literally a checklist to help get you started. And people can get this for free by going to bettermoneytv.com to get the offer. It's a great resource, all kinds of details that go a lot deeper than what we've had a chance to talk about today. Thanks so much, Joel. Thanks, Kara. That's Better Money.